Hi, my name is Scott Fisher, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fabricate your own lightsaber out of household appliances. Now I'm going to show you what parts and tools you will need in order to build your very own lightsaber. First thing you will need is a set of needle nose pliers. You will also need a small set of screwdrivers to take apart the small electronical components. You also need a larger screwdriver to do some prying and taking apart of larger electronic components. You will need some D-sized batteries to use for power. You will need lengths of wire, which you can get out of any sort of power strip, or you can just go to the store and buy it. You will need a 12 to 14 inch sink pipe, which you can use to house all of the components for the lightsaber. And you will also need a TV box, which is where you'll be getting the majority of um, your electronical components. You will also need your very own hot glue gun or soldering iron, whichever you prefer. First thing you're going to need to do is take apart your TV box in order to get some major components for your lightsaber. Now that you've got your TV box open, it's time to gather up all the parts that you will need in order to build the blade power adjuster, the blade length adjuster, the cycling field energizer, and the blade energy channeler. You can remove these parts by using your hands or by using a needle nose pliers. I prefer to use a needle nose pliers. You simply have to just clamp onto the part and pull it out nice and easy. And there you have it. These four little green objects, which are found inside of your TV box, can be used to build the cycling field energizers. You'll need a total of 12 of them in order to build the three cycling field energizers that you need. But for now, I'm going to show you how to put, simply put one of the cycling field energizers together. You will need your hot glue gun for this part. Simply put a small amount of hot glue on the top of each one of these green, little green components and attach them together. You can remove the excess glue when you're done. Now you have one cycling field energizer. Repeat the step two more times and you will have the required amount that you will need. Now it's time to get your blade energy channeler. This big black component right here can be used for your blade energy channeler. Simply remove it. Now it's time to glue your cycling field energizers to your blade energy channeler. Simply do so by adding a dab of hot glue. And applying it to your blade energy channel. Repeat the step two more times and then you will have yourself a complete component of your lightsaber. Here is the finished product. Now it's time to get chip parts for your blade power adjuster and your blade length adjuster. Now that you have your two microchips for your blade length and blade power adjuster, it's time to connect them to your blade emitter. This is a blade emitter I've made out of a small flashlight lens and a small radio powered toy conductor. You will need a couple pieces of wire about two to three inches in length to connect the chips together. Simply do so by adding a small amount of hot glue and applying the wires to the microchip. Like so. The green wire will be attached to the positive end of the blade emitter, the red one to the negative end of the blade emitter. The blue wire will be attached to the blade length adjuster. Now it's time to add wires to the blade length chip. And again, simply add just a small amount of hot glue and attach the wires to the chip. Now it's time to connect the two chips together. Simply do so by, again, adding a small amount of hot glue and attaching the blue wire. Now it's time to attach your blade length and blade power modifiers to the uh, lightsaber emitter. Simply do so by adding a small amount of hot glue, attaching the green wire to the top, adding another small amount of hot glue, and attaching the red wire to 
the bottom. Repeat this for the blade length modifier. It is important to make sure that these wires are connected properly in order for the lightsaber to work. Now it's time to make the power source. You can simply do so by gluing these two batteries to each other. Add a large amount of hot glue to make sure that the batteries will indeed stick to each other. This is important. To make sure that they will remain attached, add more, another layer of hot glue to the outer edge of the batteries. Now it's time to put an insulating cap at the bottom of the batteries to make sure that they don't electrify the lightsaber handle. Simply do so by adding a pool of hot glue at the bottom of the insulator. And attaching it to the bottom of the battery. 